Well, hey there, friends. I hope you're doing well. If you are in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a really great holiday later this week if you're watching this video a few days before. Um, and for those of you who are all around the world and other places, I just want to say thank you. And I hope that you are really having a great season of gratitude. I always think that no matter where you are in the world, this tends to be a time of year that evokes a sense of gratitude, um, which is really why I'm coming to you today and what I wanted to talk a little bit about. So many of you participated in the reader survey that I sent around in the last couple of weeks, and I am so, so thankful for your support, your feedback, candid, good, bad, the ugly. I really appreciate all of it, and it means a lot to me. Um, I am also just so grateful to all of you who read the weekly newsletter, who read the weekly blog. It is, and it feels like really the privilege and honor of a lifetime to get to help and support literally thousands of you each week um, through the work that I do. And it's such a special opportunity and thing for me to do. And I'm just, I'm so grateful to be able to do it. And I'm looking forward to continuing to do that for all of you for hopefully many, many years to come. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that came back through the survey and just report back to you about what's happening, changes that I might be making, things like that. Um, but first and foremost, I think I just want to share a little bit more about my philosophy around storytelling, which I think really informs how I communicate with all of you in the blog and in my weekly emails. My philosophy has always been to practice what I teach and to not just tell you that storytelling is important, but to be a storyteller of a sort. Um, I, I know I share a lot of personal stories um, here on the blog and also in the newsletter um, that oftentimes relate back to work that's happening with me or work that I'm doing or things that I think might be useful to you. Sometimes they're just personal anecdotes, but I share them because I really believe that storytelling is the foundation of connection. It was, it's what creates, you know, relationships, connections, friendships, what have you. And even though this is a digital online community and most of you are connected to me and not necessarily to each other, I really believe that we still have the opportunity to form those types of connections. And that's something that's really valuable and important to me um, as a communicator, as a business owner, as a fundraiser, and something that I continue to strive to do. Some people tell me that maybe they know too much about my personal life, a very small number of people, <laughs> or that it might be oversharing. But you know, if that's what storytelling is sometimes, then that's what it is. Um, I think I just really strive to be authentic and really show up as my full self, not just, you know, a work performance or work version of myself. Um, I am who I am, and I want that to be evident in my work um, as well as in the rest of my life. I think that that's just been something that's been increasingly important to me um, and something I've talked about in emails and on the blog a couple of times in the last few years. So where was I going with that? Um, I think that one of the things that came back to me in the survey that was really interesting um, that a lot of you reflected, um, and I don't think I hear often enough, was that um, the blog, the newsletter, some of my online communities feel like they have that sense of community, um, which is really special to people. And that there's kind of that sense of it being positive, friendly, you know, informal to a degree, um, but also honest and really vulnerable. And those are all things that I strive so hard to bring into the storytelling nonprofit. And I'm so grateful that many of you feel like you've experienced that. And I hope that I can keep bringing that to more of you um, through things that we do through the end of this year, in 2016, and also in 2017 and beyond. So a couple of things I just wanted to talk about in relation to the survey. So I asked a number of you, um, you know, what are some things that you like about the blog and about the newsletter, some things that you wish were different um, or would like to see? We got so many great ideas, and I'm so excited to write about a lot of them. Um, some just kind of high-level things about stuff that will be coming to the blog. A lot of you said you were interested in writing tips for fundraisers and many more case studies and examples of people who are doing storytelling work at their organizations. I am going to deliver on both of those for sure. <laughs> In fact, next year we're planning a whole series throughout the year of case studies and interviews with organizations on how they're doing storytelling, what's working, what's not. Um, so as much as there's success stories, also talking about failures and what people have learned from those, which is equally important. So if you are interested in participating in that interview series, let me know. Would love to have you join us for that. Um, you just send me an email anytime. Um, and reach out to me about that. And of course, I'm sure I'll be contacting a lot of you about that as well. 
I also heard from folks that you are interested in more templates, um, tip sheets, things like that. So downloads that are useful for you that kind of you know, capture or summarize a lot of the things we talk about here on, in the blog. Um, and I am absolutely happy to do that. I never really thought about doing that before. <laughs> so we're going to work on putting some of those together for next year. And I'm also looking at doing more video content. I was doing more video blogging probably about two years ago, and I stopped for, you know, a variety of reasons. I just felt like not enough people were watching them. It was taking me a long time to make them. Um, but I did have a number of requests for that in the survey, and I am looking at bringing that back in maybe a different type of format. So something else I'm thinking about. Um, in terms of the newsletter, you know, I, you know, things will change with that, but I'm not sure how much. Um, some people said they felt like it was too frequent being once a week. I, you know, sometimes it feels too frequent to me. I feel like I'm always writing it. So maybe that's a sign that we should send it out a little less. Maybe every other week. I'm still thinking about it. I don't have a strong feel either way about what to do about that. Um, but what I can tell you is that I'm still going to continue to share personal stories. I'm still going to talk about my work, about my life, about things that are relevant to the work that we're all doing here together in storytelling. Um, and it's my hope that it can continue to be, you know, useful, relevant, and ideally insightful content for you, um, for those of you who are subscribing to the weekly newsletter. It's something I always hope that we can kind of achieve in that process. Um, in terms of helping you and things that I'm excited to do in the next year and things that are, you know, kind of coming out of your request from the survey. Um, so a lot of you asked for more free webinars, which was exciting. Um, so I am looking at doing two in January and probably another couple in February um, as a thank you, but also because I think that it's the beginning of the year. So there's lots to talk about. And I'm really excited to host those webinars and share them with you. Um, we'll definitely be including some more tip sheets and templates and things like that. We're looking at how to tie that up and tie that in with some of the other content that I'm working on. Um, and also just answering more of your questions in upcoming blog posts. Many of you asked really great questions or had topic requests in the survey, and so I'm really excited to dive into some of those in the blog. We've been doing some editorial planning in the last couple of weeks, so I've got lots of good things lined up for next year, and um, hopefully lots more that will be really relevant to what's top of mind for you and what's you know a high priority for, for a lot of you. Um, Lastly, the other thing I wanted to say is just around kind of online community. Um, of course, we have the blog. I interact with lots of you on social media, mostly on Twitter. Um, and I have been probably for the last like two years thinking about whether or not we should start kind of a closed Facebook group for the storytelling nonprofit subscribers and, and community members. And I think I'm going to pull the trigger on that. I think we're going to do it <laughs> before the end of 2016. Um, and I say that not because it's you know yet another place for me to talk to people, but because I think that it will be more conducive to conversation and also knowledge sharing and pure exchange. And that's something that I feel like I've really been working towards in this community is the idea of people not just being connected to me, but also all of you being able to connect with each other. I know so many of you are incredibly talented, have lots of information to share, and would totally benefit from connecting with each other. Um, and I want to make that easier for all of you, no matter where you are in the world. So I think a Facebook group is going to be the best way to do that. Um, which means that we'll also have the opportunity to do more Facebook live events, things like that. I'm really looking forward to that. I think that that will be a really exciting opportunity for all of us to connect more to relationship build and to really be involved and engaged in this community of storytellers and people who are really committed to authentic, vulnerable, personal communication, um, which is super exciting to me. Last thing I want to say, I know in the survey I asked the final question, which was, is there a wish that we can grant you <laughs> if we could do anything for you to help you or, or what have you? Many of you said some really awesome things, um, and I am excited to be granting some of those wishes uh, in December. So I am planning on reaching out to a number of you to make those things happen. Um, a lot of you said things like free webinars. We're absolutely going to deliver on that. But there are a few other things that I'm excited to do. Um, for those of you who participated in the survey. So be on the lookout for an email from me probably in the next week or two <laughs> with information about that. Um, just it's something I really want to do. I, I think that all of you do such amazing work and I would love to be able to help you a little bit more however I can. So I'm excited to grant some of those wishes. All right. Well, 
I know this video has gone on a little longer than I was anticipating, but I hope you've enjoyed listening. Um, hope you found it uh, just useful in terms of, you know, just what's to come for the storytelling nonprofit. All of you are so engaged and so such a big part of this community for me that it's important to incorporate your feedback and be able to, um, you know, listen to all of you and use that in our planning for next year. And if you didn't participate in the survey, no worries. I would still love to hear from you. Um, leave a comment below this video. Let me know um, what your thoughts are, what you're loving about the storytelling nonprofit, what you're not, things you'd love to see, um, blog posts you'd like to write or you'd like me to write. Let me know. I'm always excited to hear those things. Um, and you can also let me know what are you excited about of the things that I mentioned in this video. would love to hear that as well. I hope for those of you in the U.S., you have a terrific Thanksgiving and a great start to the holiday season. For the rest of you who are not in the U.S., I hope you have a fantastic week, and I am so, so grateful that you are part of this community here and continue to be engaged in storytelling work. I think it's some of the most important work that we're all doing together, so thank you so much.